You chose the wrong time to try to wife up Kiki, dog. You chose the wrong time to try to wife up a killer, my boy. Because a killer stepping into her own. I've been following Kiki on, on the gram and on the internet for a while now. And I've seen the changes. I've seen the changes. Kiki a bad bitch now. You think <laughs> Kiki been wanting to be a bad bitch for years. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sick to my stomach. What the actual f Wait, there's more. <laughs> hey, bro, I feel you. Today, I want to talk about the whole Kiki Palmer and Usher fiasco. Originally, I was going to do a reaction to uh, Taekwon at the dojo. Um, I was going to do a reaction to his video and the things he said about that situation. But I do have my own take on it. And I feel as though I'd rather just do my take. This whole situation has kind of stirred up some, some drama in my household. Just for like 10 minutes. Me and my wife don't allow people's outside problems to interfere with our relationship. But we do have vivid discussions because... Of course, we're in a relationship. So here's my take on the situation. I think it's upsetting that we are using her status to defend her. What a lot of y'all are pretty much saying is that because this man is not in her tax bracket, he's not allowed to feel how he felt. I'm seeing tweets, I'm seeing posts on Instagram, women saying, this is why I would never date anybody who's not on my level. And I just think that that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy like he's not allowed to feel how he felt because they're not in the same tax bracket the crazy thing is I feel as though that's why he said what he said I feel as though that's why he went on Twitter that's why he went on the internet with it I don't think I don't think he was the pants in that relationship so to speak what we've seen is one level of disrespect, but I'm pretty sure it's other things that have happened behind the scene of her pretty much stepping on his manhood. And, you know, this time, he brought it to us. Was it right he brought it to us? No. No. It was not right he brought it to us. It was not right that he brought it to the public. That's one thing you should never do. You should never, you should never let outside people get an inside view of your relationship. If somebody do something to you and they disrespect you, your response is very important. If you see two people arguing, you can't tell who was right, you can't tell who was wrong. They both look like fools. Yes, she violated you, and you in turn came on the internet and tried to violate her, and that made you look bad. You gave the female demographic ammunition to not hold her accountable for her actions. I spoke to my wife about it. Um, I seen people posting about it. And because of what you did, you coming on the internet and saying what you said, it gave them the ability to sweep her actions under the rug. It didn't help your cause at all. Now, one thing I want to say too, though, and uh, the guy, Taekwon, from the dojo, he said pretty much the same thing. I felt like that. Top of that. What he said, nothing what he said was wrong. But guess what? Here's where we get to the bigger picture of the flaw in that side of the argument. You chose her. What can we do? What can we care? You chose her. Right? Don't get with somebody. Meet them as the person that, that they, they are. are. 
Mm-hmm. You know who they are when you met them. Mm-hmm. You know how they dress, what they do, what they like, etc. Commit and then complain. Mm. You know what I can compare this to? Imagine you went to a sneaker store. You know damn well you wear a size 11 in men's shoes. Mm-hmm. And you squeeze into a nine and a half. And then you, you take them home and you buy them and you say, these shoes are too tight. These shoes hurt my feet. You picked the shoes. Mm. So as a man, I'm not even comparing. I don't do this to compare oh, her to a shoe. You're materializing. You're dehumanizer. I say this to say this. When something doesn't fit, but you picked it, and you knew it didn't fit, where you tested out. You Don't complain. In the talking stage. Don't when complain. When you were dating, when you were getting to know each other, when you were expressing you know, the way you see the world, your values, your ideals, etc. Once you realized y'all weren't on the same page, that y'all weren't going to fit, why did you commit? Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't even co-sign his complaining now. What, what am I? What are we supposed to do? Mm. Oh, Kiki, I got it. <laughs> what hey, am bro. I supposed to do, bro? At the end of the day, you're the one who gave her a baby. Hey. You're the one who that's your wife. Hey. At the end of the day, now y'all start to see y'all got two different values. She values freedom. You value a conservative traditional family. She values doing what she wants and and. and Boss, you know, whatever her perspective is. Boss right? bitch movement. And you value, you should dress a certain way. You should represent my family. You gave her your seed. Mm. You gave her your child. Why complain now? Hey, bro. This young, this young nigga here, boy. He be, he be, he be spitting, bro. He be spitting, I ain't gonna lie. You know what this remind me of? Um did a video a few months ago. My boy and this chick that he was talking to got into this argument and he wanted to kick out the crib, so he called me like, yo, can you take her to the airport? I went over there. Big commotion. I'm not even gonna like I'm not gonna get into it, but big commotion. And then we get to talking and shit, and he tell me why it's a big commotion. Basically, he found out that she was talking to somebody else. Now, the crazy thing is, a few months prior to that, he caught her talking to the same person. And I was like, hey, bro, like, that's her dude. Like, you feel me? I guess she be flying out of state, and she go chill with, with the guy. They be doing what they do, then she come back and hang out with my boy. and You know what I'm saying? So, I told him, I'm like, hey, bro, like, because you caught her doing this the first time, I feel as though you should just leave her alone. Let her be. You you already doing you, and you can't handle the fact that she's doing her. And I'm telling you that this is not going to stop. So, just let her be. He called her again. Started wilding out. He get to complaining to me, and I'm like, hey, like, I told you. I told you to leave her alone. You knew what you was getting yourself into. You just, you know, <laughs> you couldn't say no. I guess the box was good. I'm pretty sure the box was good. You just couldn't say no. And now here you are. You know what I'm saying? That's what that, that's pretty much what that reminds me of. So if you choose your bad laying it, you chose the wrong time to try to wife up Kiki, dog. You chose the wrong time to try to wife up a killer, my boy. Because Akilah's stepping into her own. I've been following Kiki on, on the gram and on the internet for a while now. And i seen the changes. i seen the changes. Kiki a bad bitch now. You think... <laughs> Kiki been wanting to be a bad bitch for years. You done put that baby in her. She got some cheeks now. Oh, Lord have mercy. Shit, boy. Hold on. You don't put a baby in Kiki and gave her some cheeks. What you think finna happen? <laughs> what you think about to happen, my boy? Come on, dog. <laughs> Come on, dog. What you think finna happen? She finna show them cheeks. I should look. I should probably been around Kiki for a minute too, boy. And he seen them cheeks. He was like, "Where did those come from?" They got a picture of him looking at that shit. Like, he was... He was pleasantly surprised. That's probably what got you on Twitter. 
You seen that picture of Usher pleasantly surprised that your woman got cheeks. <laughs> hey, man, look. I say all that to say, bro. Be careful who you decide to put a baby in. You know what I'm saying? Even if she getting money. Especially if she getting money, matter of fact. Because if your woman getting more money than you, you got to understand that it's some levels of disrespect that come with that. And I'm speaking from some form of I'm speaking from experience because at one point in time my woman was definitely getting more money than me and even though she held me down at some points in time the flip side of that like certain certain moments I, I ain't like <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you certain moments I, I didn't like certain moments I had to swallow that and as a man that ain't feel good. 